Okay, so let's have a look at starting to actually use some of the tools in our sketch um, our palette here. Uh, so let's start off with a uh, rectangle and um, you can take a two-point rectangle um, or a three-point or a center rectangle. Have a go, see what the different ones do. This is quite a good one, the center point, because it starts, as the name suggests, from the center of the rectangle. Now, you'll notice as soon as I select a tool, I get these three uh, squares appear. Those squares are my planes. That's what I'm going to draw on, okay? So this would be like a top or plan view. I'm going to draw on that one first of all. And notice when I click on it, my view cube spins around to show I'm drawing from the top. Um, the prompter is saying place the center point of the rectangle. So I'm going to place on the axes. And then I'm just going to start pulling out my rectangle. Okay, now I can type a size in if I know what size I want this to be. You can see I've got two dimension boxes. One is saying 20 millimeters, it's highlighted in blue, and that indicates that that's the active one. So if I just type on the keyboard 15, it's going to drop that down to 15. And if I press tab, it's going to jump across to the other one. Let's say I want that to be 45, for example. Okay, then I can press enter and it's going to lock that in place for me. Um, I can zoom in by using my uh, two fingers on the trackpad. Okay, so pull apart and squeeze together. That's a really useful thing. Two fingers will also allow me to pan. Two fingers together on the trackpad will allow me to uh, pan around the drawing and look from uh, uh, look at different sort of parts maybe. Um, and I've also got an orbit tool, so I can come down to free orbit and I can move that around. You see, if I move it 90 degrees that way, it will go to just a sliver of paper with no thickness because it is just lines on a, an imaginary surface, our work plane. If we get lost and we're not sure where things have gone and we, it's all gone and vanished, of course, we can always come up here and we can click on our home button. We go back to our top view or we could rotate around 90 degrees if that's not very convenient so the view cube super super useful um, and uh, so are these pan and zoom and other tools it's worth getting to grips with them okay let's try uh, going back to our sketch menu then and let's take a circle so i'm going to take a center diameter and others i'm going to click the center of the circle and <coughs> excuse me Click the center of the circle and then start drawing out from there. So here goes, and I can click out to say that size. Let's do that and press enter. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Uh, and there's my circle on the end there. Let's do another one on the other end. I'm going to click there. This one I'm going to make slightly smaller. So let's go for uh, let's go for 20. Let's say I press enter and press enter. So there we are. There's my uh, two circles drawn with a rectangle. Now, if I want to get rid of some of these bits, um, I can click on them. If I don't need that measurement, that dimension anymore, and I can when they go blue, just delete them. Same for things like these lines that I don't want. Um, but when I've got parts of lines I want to delete, um, I can't use my delete tool because the whole line is going to go like so. So let's just remember, use our undo for things that don't work. So I just want to trim out parts of these. So I'm going to click T, press T on the keyboard, and then I can trim away between points that, so where we've got points where they are overlapping, we can just take out sections of things. Now, the reason I need to do that is because if I leave these blue lines here, they will get cut by the laser cutter. The laser cutter is just going to read those as lines that need cutting, and it will go ahead and cut them, which is not what I want. Okay, so there you go. There's a very, very simple shape. Let's go back and click my Save button. And in this, you don't need to change that uh, version description. Just click OK and there your uh, drawing is saved and ready to go. Okay, oh, let's delete that and clean up our drawing. So there's my profile shape, perhaps, for my um, design. Okay, 